Hello everyone and welcome to Locus Extra, the one about pancakes. In just short of two weeks time, it'll be pancake day. It's on February the 28th this year, 2017. Pancake day. It's a day which, uh, on which by tradition we uh, at some time during the day eat pancakes and during the day at various times there may be pancake, pancake races and other uh, sort of celebrations surrounding pancakes. On its own pancake day is actually rather meaningless. It hasn't because it hasn't got any connection with anything else for most people. But nevertheless we all enjoy a pancake on pancake day. I'll tell you what my particular favourite pancake is. It's an ordinary sweet pancake, but within it, or on top of it, is a banana sliced up, Greek honey poured over it, and all topped off with authentic Greek yoghurt. It's got to be the authentic yoghurt, mind. None of that Greek style rubbish. Authentic, authentic Greek yoghurt, and Full fat as well, none of the 0% rubbish. Full fat, authentic Greek yoghurt. I think I made the point there, didn't I? Anyway, that's a really tasty pancake to have. Uh, and one that I, I can recommend. But as I was saying, pancake day on its own is really quite meaningless because it's not connected with anything else. And that's why I got a bit upset and a bit uh, sad as well the other day when I was reading some church uh, literature, some literature produced for church people to use during the season of Lent. And within that material it said that the day before Lent is Pancake Day. Well, it is. <laughs> But actually, it it's much deeper than that, because as I said, Pancake Day, on its own, actually is quite meaningless, because it's not connected with anything else. In actual fact, in reality, it is. But we've forgotten, I think most people have forgotten, what the origin, meaning and purpose of Pancake Day is. And always was. Pancake Day is, in reality, Shrove Tuesday. And Shrove Tuesday was traditionally the day when people would come to church to confess their sin, to, in a sense, get rid of, to offload all the guilt and resentment and bitterness and all that stuff that people feel sorry for doing and thinking. Uh, in, in over the past weeks and months and year and this is the day in the year Shrove Tuesday when people come come to church and indulge in their shriving confessing their sins to clear the way to begin the season of Lent with a clean sheet as it were on the day following which is Ash Wednesday so, and on that Shrove Tuesday it was the last day to empty the larder of all the dairy products before the Lent fast began because Lent is traditionally a time of fasting and people still do. There are Christians, especially Eastern Orthodox Christians, who still do take that very seriously and give up meat and give up dairy products during the whole season, the six weeks of Lent. And so the origin, meaning and purpose of Pancake Day lies in it being Shrove Tuesday and the final day when you can clear out the larder of all the food that you're not going to eat during, during the season of Lent. Now I think where we do go wrong and, in, and are increasingly going wrong in the church is that, that we are forgetting the origin, meaning and purpose of a lot of the things that we do, a lot of the beliefs that we have, a lot of the things we say. Having lost the origin, meaning and purpose, we just do them because it's time to do them. We believe them because somebody else has told us we should believe them. 
And really, that's because we haven't been educated in all of this. I remember just a few short years ago when I was looking into the Eastern Orthodox Church, studying it for three or four months, I realised just what huge gaps there were in my learning. Uh, gaps that weren't filled when I went to theological college. And I had to start again to learn, in a sense, everything about Christianity again, but from an Eastern Orthodox point of view. And I learned so much about the things that we actually do now in church, the beliefs we have that I didn't really understand why we did and that, why we believe the things that we believe. And all of us have these huge gaps about, as I said, the things that we do and the beliefs that we have, where the origin, meaning and purpose lies. And I think that if there's one thing we can do when we, we come to address the secular world, is actually get ourselves educated more, fill in the gaps in our own Christian education, so that we can come to all the challenges that the secular world offers up to the church much more informed and much more confident about what it is that we believe, what it is that we're meant to be saying and doing in this 21st century global community that we have and that really Brexit or no bre Brexit, we can't escape. Sorry I mentioned Brexit, that would be another subject I guess, but you know what I mean. It's this global world now that presents, us with, presents the church with all sorts of challenges and we need to be fully assured of the of faith we have. We need to be confident in the knowledge we have of our faith, of our Christianity, of our beliefs, so that we can meet all those challenges. And I think rather than in a sense watering down and dumbing down what the church thinks and believes and does, uh, rather than secular, secularising the church, I think we all ought to build ourselves up in understanding of our historic Christian tradition, the origin, meaning and purpose, as I said, of all those things that we think and do and believe. So when it comes round to Pancake Day on the 28th of February this year, I hope that you do enjoy your pancakes and as you're eating them that you uh, have a better understanding of why you're actually loving that beautiful pancake. See you next time. Thank you for watching. Please do remember to share this far and wide so that the word is spread far and wide. Let's see if we can get many, many more people watching these videos. So as I said, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.